Us into gardens. Every year, a hoe, slasher, ten loads of daily papers, two rims of papers. All this for what? Are you making a shop out of parents? I don't even use daily papers at my home, but here I must bring ten loads each time. Mr. Msuke, education is expensive. Now, if you think we are charging you too much, go try out other schools. It's not what I meant. Next person, come in, please. Madam Bassa, maybe I used the wrong approach. But you see a poor farmer like me, I cannot afford to bring all the requirements at once. The season wasn't good. I need some more time to bring other requirements. Let alone. If you needed more time, did you have to bang my table? You wanted to hit me, right? No, my hands just went out of control. How much time do you need? Uh, something like a week, madam. Too long. One or two more days, so that I can sell off my harvest. Then, Mrs. Kalimba. Mm-hmm. How may I help you? Nagi, Mrs. Kalimba, can you help me with some salt? There is your business, eh? Do I own a salt factory here? Yeah. <laughs> I hope that one takes for some time before you come back here to me as if I'm like cut off. Thank you very much. Thank you. Schools have become business. They're increasing school fees every time without even considering we parents. This time I must also make my demands known. What do you mean? I'm tired of being exploited. It's like we are working for nothing. How do we be able to build this house and pay Abraham school fees if we are working for nothing? Look at me. Huh? Can a man be proud for such for his wife? We men know what is good for our wives. We should not defend ourselves as if we are in a court. A man who even can't buy salt for his family, or even a can to light up the house. Eh, hey, no, no, the pigs, what it can swallow? Tata, teacher Frank has told me that I shouldn't go back to school with this shirt. What song is that shirt? Look, he says that he will turn it into a rag if he sees me wearing it again. All 
right. Hopefully, we shall chance on good customers in the market today. Mm. You better beg or borrow. I must have a new dress today. Eh? I'm not going to suffer silently or bleed under my skin. Have you heard? A cow's tail is only able to chase flies from its reach. Tata, will you also buy me some nice shoes? Student at school laugh at me that I put on shoes made from cut tires. But I bought you last time rubber shoes. Nigina! Ah, children say that I put on bidiko. My sir, you should learn to live in your own means. In this world, we are not all equal. How much? 500 shillings only. What a misuse of words. You only fix a small part of Guruela and you are saying 500 shillings. But at least it consumed my nails and my energy. And that is what you're paying for. You're also acting like these schools, which demand a lot, like the judges. Ten rolls of toilet papers, two rims of papers, a hoe, a slasher, name it. And that is exactly why you're paying. Because also me, I have to take my children to school. You see him, he's my son. After taking ten rolls of toilet papers, two rims of papers, a hoe, they still demand me for a slasher and a broom. Can you imagine? I only pleaded for more time, so he was allowed to study. But immediately I left the school. The class teacher sent him for another new uniform. <laughs> Lucky you. At least you stepped there. But mine, they are still at home. So I have to pay? Yes. Okay. Oh, thank you. Okay. Yeah. It looks like you have some merchandise you're going to sell to the market. Hopefully. Yeah. Okay, good luck, Sebu. Okay. Yeah. Mommy Musoka, that donkey might be the beast of burdens, but the way you treat it, <laughs> it may not serve you beyond this year. Mommy Kalis, please mind your business. But you have overloaded the animal. Donkeys are there to work. Believe me, I know what's good and bad for animals. You can share some of its load. Your son here is young and strong, and much of what you've earned must be going to his fees. What a world. You own a donkey. But still call it road. But it's everywhere. We pay dowry for women to come and help us with work at home. But it's not the case. The way things are now, you can't treat your wife anyhow. Everything has the right to be. Good luck. Okay. Jesus, what an inconsiderate father. Huh? How can you treat your own son like this? Yeah, I see no problem is that. He's still young and energetic. Besides that, most of the earnings go to his school fees and other ah, needs. My neck has sunk into my chest. Let the donkey do its work. No, times have changed. Even donkeys are no longer being overworked. Mm -mm. This is too much. Let me help you with this. Mm. The elephant never fails to carry its task. Mm. It's my duty as a man to take care of, of my family. You were never meant to work so hard. That doctor has never been God's plan. Never. Eh? If you could read with me Psalms uh, 127, verse 2. Hmm? It is useless for you to work so hard. Eh? From early in the morning. Uh, ex excuse me. God of heaven, son! 
Are you a Christian? Yes, Pastor. What does the fifth commandment say? It says that respect your mother and father and, and live longer. Then why do you let your father suffer like this? Eh? Why for you, you uh, swing your hands? Isn't he looking for your school fees? Pastor, his neck had sunk into his chest, so he had to help you. I, I, I first put this laden down. <laughs> Why, why are you laboring? Huh? Huh? We were created in God's own image. We are princes here on earth. Why do you suffer like beasts of burden? Huh? Our riches are far up in heaven. Huh? Where no moth or man shall reach to corrupt them. But Pastor, you always tell us to, to, that God helps those who help themselves. Uh, uh, could it be true? It could it be true? Uh, but uh, read with me, read with me. Psalms 127, verse 2. It, it is useless for you to work so hard. Uh, uh, here, here, here. <laughs> It is useless for you to work so hard from early in the morning till late at night and just looking for food to eat because God provides for his loved ones. Huh? Look at me. Huh? Do, do I look like I, 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 I missed food? No, no. Hey, my family does not toil so hard, but we are okay. <laughs> Amen. 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 Hey. <coughs> so, Pastor, life is a wrong wind load. So it is good for us to have a rest. Hey. Hey. <coughs> so. Hey. Yeah. Labouring. You are tired. Labouring. But. <coughs> My music, you have just left me for the market. What happened? I've learned something new. We are God's own sons, princes of heaven. For God has kept our riches above in the heaven, where no mouth or no man can corrupt them. Do we need to toil? Are you mad? You very well know that God helps those who help themselves. Go and ask Pastor Stephen, or read Psalms 127, verse 2. For it is useless for you to enslave yourself like that. For it is useless for you to work from early in the morning until late in the evening just for food. For God blesses those only he loves, even if they are asleep. Mwami Musoke, come back to life. Your son needs fees. You need food and other home needs. How are you going to manage? My son, let's go. If the man of God has talked, how am I to be wiser than God? Poor animal. What happened? You've come back just the way you went. Everybody is saying the same thing. Don't you have other things to say about in this village? I mean, but isn't it strange that, that, that you've returned just the way you went? We didn't know to work anymore. God will take care of us. <laughs> God helps those who help themselves. So Pastor Steve Norris tells us. This gospel is now different. You see, Pastor Steve never works, but he never goes without any food. For his family, he even lives a better life. Then he asked, we, we told. But, but your wife prepared a special meal, eh? expecting that you will come back with a new dress, or at least a kilo of meat. In that case, we shall just eat that meal and rest. Pastor Stephen said, should have a rest. Yeah. I, I, I do not understand you. Hey, didn't the market open today? For us to work from early in the morning until late in the night just for food, it is useless. For our heavenly fathers kept our riches above in the heaven where no mouth or no man can corrupt them. God, someone has reached my husband. Now where are we going to get the money to pay his school fees or buy our needs? God will take care of us, for only he blesses those ones he loves. Ibrahim, did you eat anything strange on your way? 
Do you still doubt me? Let me give you a live example. You see a man of God, Pastor Stephen, never works, but he never goes without food. Even his, his family never lacks anything. Listen, I, from the Mutima clan, will not tolerate a lazy husband. Brahim, let's stand that donkey. We have to sell something today. Woman, what Psalms 127 verse 2 says? Pastor, are you the one who told my husband stop working? God helps those who help themselves. Brother, yes? I have cast my nets very far and wide, and I catch lots of fish. Huh? Remember the parable of the three servants? Huh? In, uh, <coughs> in Matthew 25. Verse 19, 29. It reads, After a very long trip, huh, the master returned and called to his servants to come and give account of how they had used the money. Huh? The first servant, whom he had entrusted with five bags of gold, he said, Sir! You gave me five bags of gold. And I have doubled the amount. The master, full of praise, said, You are a very good and faithful servant. And because you could handle this small amount, I will give you more responsibilities. Then came the second servant. Huh? To him, he had entrusted two bags of gold. He said, sir, you gave me two bags of gold and I have doubled the amount. The master said, you are a faithful servant. I will also double your responsibilities. Now came the third servant, whom he had entrusted one coin. Just, just one coin. The servant said, sir, I know you are a hard man. Huh? Harvesting crops. You didn't plant, and gathering fruits you did not cultivate. I feared I would lose your money. <laughs> so, I planted it in the earth, and here it is. But the master said, You wicked and lazy servant! Huh? Well, you, you could have put my money in the bank, so that I earn interest. Take the coin that he has and give it to the one with the ten bags. Pastor, you always tell us that God blesses those only he loves, even if they are asleep. <laughs> ah, my friend, huh? the person that has something will be given more. But the one who has nothing, even the little he has, shall be taken away from him. So you work hard when you still have strength in your bonds. <laughs> Yeah, 